Easy guys, Ben here. Welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, we've got a few things going on, and one of the first things is I've got a hundred palm tree saplings, and I've also got magic saplings with loads of magic seeds, and we're gonna be boosting up that farming very shortly. Uh, I'll just show you a note, little note section I've got. Uh, Alex helped me out with this, and it basically shows normal trees and all the fruit tree locations. And every time I plant one, I'll do that. Every time I pick it. And I'll, I'll just delete it and then re-put it back after it's planted again. Just to know that, you know, I've been pretty much doing them. But what I'll normally do is I'll normally do a tree run. Go and do the trees. Not have these prepared. And then it'll just end up being really shitty. And I'll go there, claim the farming experience. Never touch farming ever again. But it's one of those skills that you kind of kind of need to bang out. Because if you get everything to 99, it'll probably take a while to actually get it to 99. Just because... Well, it's more of a time game than anything. There are other methods these days of training farming without doing the traditional methods, but really doing this plus the other methods, you may as well just to get it to boost up to that optimal level. So that is something that I'm actually going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to be doing uh, a lot more things um, involving farming and just hopefully boosting it up to that optimal level. I'm not entirely sure if these grow in your bank because I swear that they did it yesterday. Either that or I'm just hallucinating. But... It, just in general, you know, I think that was just a dodgy watering cam right there because you normally get all of them. What the hell is going on? Oh, these are just normal fucking plant pots. What am I doing? Jesus, losing my mind. Right, let's withdraw all of these. But anyway, yep, yeah, so basically the plan is for now is to just farm. Always make sure I get that enlightenment aura on it. I'm really looking forward to the farming time that's being released. If anyone knows the uh, any release details on that, that would be... Um, Happy if you could post them in the comments. Uh, I'll probably end up researching it anyway, but it would be nice. But on terms of everything else, uh, I think, like I say, farming is going to be the main thing I'm doing. Uh, a lot of things that I've got now are very AFKable uh, on terms of rune crafting. AFK, it's rune span. You know, I I'm I'm going to be doing construction via protein planks, so that's not going to be very AFKable at all, just because, well, it's not AFK at all whatsoever. It kind of is. But when you get the protein logs, but actually getting them, I'm not going to be getting them through the treasure hunter. I don't have any means of buying any spins, or I don't have any means of just generally doing quests for spins. So, yeah, I'm just going to do traditional methods, basically. Screw any of that. A good mask I'd like to get, though, from the uh, Slayer Award mask. I've got um, a whole chunk of masks. I'll just show you that now from the treasure hunter. But, yeah, I've not got the, um, what are they called? I'm not entirely what they're called, but they're very good at um, dropping seeds. You can actually request to get get them as actual tasks. Um, so I, I'm peeved because my mate Alex actually got it the other day, and he doesn't. He's not going to use it. He said, "Oh, I'd give it you. I'd trade it you for like 50k." Obviously taking the piss and whatnot, but it's true. Like he's not going to use it, and it'd be something to help me boost up my farming just because I actually spent the extra time getting a seed aside for Slayer. And I'm still continuing with Slayer, so I will be using some um, Slayer masks, because you know, they're mainly AFK. A good example of that would be Abyssal Demons, they're fairly AFK, and alongside Dark Beasts, which are extremely AFKable. And you know, it's just extra money gains and Slayer gains on top of that. In terms of that though, I've not actually done Slayer, like I was saying yesterday, I'm going to be working on the series, and I'll be putting those in the series. But for now, just standard vlogs at the moment. In terms of video content, guys, now, a lot of you have been wanting guides and whatnot, and I'm... As I'm getting around to that, I'm still using Camtasia Studio, and I will be upgrading to um, I will be upgrading very shortly to Sony Vegas, just because <clears throat> I know for a fact that Sony Vegas is a lot better. I think they do grow in your bank, you know. I'm not entirely sure. I honestly think they do. So yeah, we'll put those in. We'll test that. I'll remember that. But yeah, everything's going well on RuneScape. Real life, um, I'm really not doing much at the, uh, at the moment. I am um, <clears throat> still working at Sainsbury's. And um, on terms of work, I'm just generally hopefully going to be picking up some more shifts in September, which will be pretty cool. So that's it for this video, guys. Um, not an answer, like Cape. That's just absolutely beautiful. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, hopefully to bring you some more content soon, guides and whatnot. As like I say, I was talking about them. And literally, we're just going to get those banged out. And we're going to see what's going to go on. I'm mainly going to um, target my 99 skills for those guides. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you're having fun playing RS, and I'll see you soon. Peace.